economy continues to expand and the price of oil tops $82 a barrel. Housing in San Angelo is getting harder to find. There are more buyers than sellers at this point as demand remains high. Aaron Hunter has tonight's News Connection. There are a lot of buyers out there right now, so it's a good idea to get your house on the market. Across West Texas, the housing market is robust with demand during a time of year that it would normally be cooling down. I have been here in the real estate business since 1980s, and I've never seen a market like this. It's really amazing. Growth is expected to slow to 4.4% in 2022, but the latest numbers show pending home sales rose more than 8% in August compared to July. Now is a great time since experts forecast home prices could rise due to high marketability. Well, normally at this time of year, it does slow down with the holidays and everything. Everybody kind of settles down into their home to get ready to celebrate those with their families. Um, but over the past year, we've been in a bit of a feeding frenzy, which has really spiked the list price of homes. And um, so kind of what we're seeing now is in the past few weeks or so, we've really seen a lot of homes have price reductions. So what that tells me is that because of that feeding frenzy, we've kind of you know, priced out some buyers, and so now we're kind of coming back to an equilibrium. But in San Angelo, an issue home buyers are facing is plenty of demand, but not enough inventory. As soon as a rental property is built or a home hits the market, they are sold. The realtors share some tips on how to make the process a bit easier on both sides of the market. Decluttering is extremely important, depersonalizing, and then anything you can do to make your home bright and airy. Friday's the best day to put your house on the market, and you'll always get more money if you put your house on the market on a Friday and then get it marketed over the weekend. And I've, we've been able to sell houses in one or two days lately. Home that has those dark brown doors on the inside, I think one of the best things you can do to give your home a facelift is to put in white doors, even if you just have to paint those brown doors white. It really makes a huge difference. For News Connection, I'm Erin Hunter.